Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mouse Hole with me on AnyMouse. Uh, today we're going to look in Spaceborne 2 at how we are going to manage our faction structures. So in the last video we had built our new station, the Big Cheese, and you'll see that we now have the option to build all of these different types of defences. Now these built pretty much instantly you'll see that the cost of them doesn't seem to be very much compared to the amount of resources that we have. However, if I click and hold, for example, on the shield quarters, you'll see that once I've built that structure, the cost for all of the others increased. And you'll find that that will go up incrementally for everything that we build. So we started with a shield quarters that's going to protect our actual station. We put some gun turrets there to actually defend it. We'll put docks there so that we can get some ships coming out. All the time this is using these resources here. I'm going to put in drone docks and then we'll start getting to the point where things are getting not only expensive but we're starting to get towards the end of our resources. If I also add in radios so they can call for help when they get attacked then we're nearly there but we now haven't got enough to build either the mechanic station to start doing repairs once things are attacked or the barracks to get some soldiers there. So in order to do that, we are going to need to buy some more resources. We need a little bit more um, of the raw materials here. We need a little bit more tools and we've got enough um, research to do the barracks. So we'll go off and because there's lots and lots in the kitty here, I'm going to just buy the full amount. The maximum you can buy is 15 million worth of credits for everything at a time. We do that, we'll see that all of our amounts here have gone up and I can now buy my barracks. But we don't have enough, not quite, to do the mechanics quarter as well. So I've got enough in the way of research. I don't have enough, well, I almost do, enough tools and I don't have enough raw materials. We need a good 2,000 raw materials. So let's go back to our trade menu. Raw materials, there's 1,000. I'm sure these prices will change and may eventually become dynamic, but at the moment it's a standard 15 million for every 1,000 resources, whichever one you buy. As I said, I think that will change over time and that should now be us with plenty to build our mechanics quarters. These are built instantly and now that system is fully defended and we can think about going to the other system and potentially building another station. In fact, we're still in that system. Um, so let's see, shall we? Can I build on this planet? No, nope, there's already a structure there and it's this escape route structure there. So we can't build at that planet. We can, however, build at this one. So let's just build another station, just a basic station. to the cheese theme uh, we will this build that and Jack is going to help us do that again but you'll also see that we're, we're now a bit low on some of the resources to build that structure if we go down it'll be down at the bottom here and yeah, we're a little bit low on these so I'm just going to buy some more of each of these to enable us to make sure that's all completed properly because if he runs out, it will stop. That, though, is more than enough. We also have some coming in from the trade that's happening with the stations and systems we already have. And we now have more than enough to um, meet all these resources and to complete the building of that station, which will then upgrade just like we did the first one. I hope that's been helpful. As I said, you will be walked through this in the story of the game um, as it teaches you how to um, get your first station, um, but hopefully this and the previous video have helped you in how to manage that process. Thanks for watching and take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.